Hello, good morning. How are you? My name is Teacher Paula, and today we are going to talk about landscape, natural resources. Our objective today is to describe natural resources in the city and the countryside. So let's watch a video about natural landscapes. Okay, natural resources. A resource is something we find in nature and can be used by people. Look at the pictures. What can we find in nature? We can find water, we can find trees, we can find minerals, we can find plants, and there are many things that we can find in nature that we use. In Panama, we have a lot of natural resources. For example, we have rivers, we have the highlands, we have the forest. Look at the beautiful picture. Panama has beautiful natural resources where we can enjoy about fresh air, water, we can see different animals, and we can see different plants. What is a landscape? A landscape is the visible feature of an area, is what you can see from a place. And we have some examples of landscape, like plain, hill, mountain, valley, forest, wood, lake, river, swamp, brook, meadow, coast, waterfall, desert, cave, and glacier. In Panama, we don't have glaciers, um, but we have, for example, desert, we have plains, we have hill, we have mountains, we have valley, and this is what we are going to study about today. Our Panamanian natural landscapes are, for example, La Pintada River, the Anton Valley, Trinidad Mountain, Coiba Beach, the Darien Forest. We have La Yeguada, the Metropolitan Park, and Boquete. Do you know them? What activities can we do? Our country has many natural resources where you can go and have fun with your family, with your friends, with your relative, and you can also practice different activities. For example, you can go to the beach, you can go fishing, you can see flora and fauna, you can eat delicious food, you can visit archaeological sites, and take pictures. Another outdoor activity that you can do, for example, you can go camping, stay in a hotel, or you can swim. We have a lot of rivers where you can swim. Beautiful, right? So let's know a little more about natural landscape and let's start with La Yeguada. Do you know where is La Yeguada? It is in Veraguas province. La Yeguada is a forest reserve that surrounds a beautiful lake in Veraguas. It's a nice place for camping it has cool weather and you can hike, swim, or relax on the bank of the lake. Look, what a beautiful place. And this is in our country, La Yeguada. The Metropolitan Park is a natural park. You can go hiking also, the many trails it has. You can explore, explore Georgia scenery and see the exotic flora and fauna. Look, what beautiful, the Metropolitan Park. What about Boquete? Do you know where is Boquete? This is in the province of Chiriquí. Boquete is the highland of Chiriquí province. Here you can enjoy the nice weather, visit coffee plantation, also you can visit the Baru volcano. This is our national volcano. And also we have a national park in there and Los Quetzales Trails. So you have a lot of activities, outdoor activities that you can do in Boquete. 
What about the Anton Valley? Where is the Anton Valley? Do you remember? It is in the province of Cocle. Good. Anton Valley is a small village. This beautiful place. It has many things that you can do in there. You can go hiking. Um, you can go hiking to La India Dormida. How, do you know where is it? In Anton? Yes, you can go hiking. Okay, you can know about orchids, the hot pools, you can see the butterfly gardens, or you can hide El Macho waterfall. Good! A lot of activity and attractions that you can find in Anton Valley. Okay, let's review. Here we have three important things that you need to remember from our lesson today, and is what is the meaning of outdoor activities, natural resources, and natural landscape? Okay, just let's listen first. The visible features of an area or land. Outdoor activities, natural resources, or natural landscapes. Natural landscapes, that's correct. Activities that you can practice with relatives or friends outside. In the different landscape, they are called outdoor activities. Okay, and the last one we have something we find in nature and can be used by people. This is our topic about today is natural resources. Here we have a practice just to try to remember about the reading. Okay, now let's check all of the activities that we can do in the different places. For example, I have made uh, the first one for you, La Yeguada. In La Yeguada we can swim, so we are going to check under swim. In the Metropolitan Park, we swim, go hiking, see flora and fauna, enjoy the weather or go camping. Okay, we can go hiking. So this is the place where you are going to check. Boquete. Oh, can I swim in Boquete? Go hiking, see flora and fauna, enjoy the weather or camping. According to the reading, we enjoy the weather. Have you been in Boquete? It's very cold, very cold. Okay, now Anton Valley. What can you do in Anton Valley? Can you swim, go hiking, see flora and fauna? According to the reading, remember we can go hiking. We also can see flora and fauna. And why not? We can also enjoy the weather. Okay, this is our practice today. And now we have another practice for you where we are going to match. Okay, here we have another activity where you have to match the answer of the question. Okay, we have enjoy the nice weather, natural landscape, Anton Valley, and the Metropolitan Natural Park. So let's start. Where can you see hot pools and butterfly gardens? In the Anton Valley, good. What activities can you do in Boquete? You can enjoy the nice weather. What is the title of the lesson? Do you remember? The title of the lesson is Natural Landscapes. And at the end, where can you go hiking? To the Metropolitan Natural Park. Excellent, you did an excellent job. Okay, now I have a question for you. What is your favorite landscape? Well, my favorite one is the mountain, okay? I love mountains. Now I have a special guest. He is Victor G. Barria from Fuente del Chase Elementary School, and he is going to talk about the Miraflores Lock. Good morning, children classmates. My name is Victor G. Today I am going to talk about the Miraflores Locks and Visitor Center. It's located in Panama, allows the visitor to be in front of the ships. The Miraflores Locks 
is where an inbound and outbound traffic from onto the Pacific side of the canal is controlled. The visitor center has three observation decks with a front row view of the ships transiting the canal on the Panama Canal Museum. We recommend to call the visitor center before going ask about the ship's transit schedules. They will provide you the information necessary to be sure to see them transiting live instead of the big by video that they will show you if there is no shape of the time of you visit. Thank you so much. Wonderful, Victor. It has been a very nice speech. Thank you so much for your participation. Okay, let's continue with the safety measure just to remember what you have to do to protect yourself from the coronavirus. Remember, you need to wash your hands with plenty of soap and water. You need to wear a face mask. Important, keep your distance. Remember, two meters of distance and then you need to sanitize your hands with alcohol. This is something that you have to do constantly to protect yourself from the virus, okay? And I say thank you so much. Thank you so much. You remember to keep practicing, keep working. You have done a, grub, you have done a great job today. And it's time for me to say thank you to Mrs. Dyra Creighton, our academic coordinator. National Directorate of Foreign Language Teaching and we also say thank you, thank you so much to all the sponsors who make this project possible and I see you then next.